Hey YouTube, it's Tronka Evsky here, and today I'm wearing my jacket, which means absolutely nothing. Okay, well actually today I'm going to talk about Uncharted 2 single player. I'm not going to talk about the multiplayer because I really want to talk about the game in depth, so yeah, I'll talk about the multiplayer later. Okay, to start off with, I want to talk about the graphics. Just because they amaze me so much. They're truly amazing. They're definitely the best graphics I've seen in a game ever. Um, I've played a lot of games with really good graphics, such as Killzone. Killzone has really good graphics. Everybody complained about the blood graphics, but anyway. Um, this game's graphics are amazing. It's very detailed. Um, like, if you're just sitting there, his, the sh his clothes will like blow in the wind. His hair will, like, blow in the wind, sort of. I mean, not, like, major, but, you know. And if you get in water, your clothes get wet. But if you're, if you only get in water about knee-high, only water, the water only goes up to about your knee. Which I thought was really cool, because in most games, you know, if you get in water, your whole body's wet, no matter how much water it is. Well, I mean, not necessarily, but... Yeah. And, like, when you're in snow, it won't just, you won't just go in there white. Like, you won't just, your clothes won't be white automatically. The snow will actually build up on your clothes slowly. So, the graphics are really pretty. I mean, everything has its own color. Pretty. It's a weird word. But, yeah. Everything sort of has its own color, but it also blends together really well. Um, so, yeah, the graphics are really good. Um, uh, now the sound in the game... The sound, the voice acting is great. Uh, they have all the characters from the old game, I think, and they've got new ones, but everyone sounds really good, um, so yeah. And the, like, gun firing or something breaking also sounds good. Some people, I mean, I sometimes I do think it sounds a little weak, the gunfire, but it doesn't really bother me too much. I really don't really care about that. but. Okay, so the sound's really good, too. Now, the gameplay itself... Or, no. I'm gonna talk about gameplay last. Now, I'm gonna talk about the storyline. Uh, the story... It... It's... Amazing story. It's... Wow. I wish that... I wish it would have been a movie. It's that good. I just love it so much. You really, like, believe it. You really start to... You know, really like the characters or hate the characters like the bad people yeah so and it's the story is just simply amazing it again i'm going to i'm just going to say something is the best that i've ever seen in a lot in a lot of this video cuz this game is just amazing the storyline is the best i've ever heard in a game ever it's just amazing the first game storyline was okay but this game has much better storyline. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, the next, the next thing that I want to talk about is gameplay, cause there's nothing really else to talk about. The game, the gameplay is really fun. I mean, you, the sh the controls are just perfect. Nothing feels slippery. Um, every now and then, you'll like. Every now and then, you'll be walking. Like, you'll try to get behind a cover. And he'll accidentally get behind the wrong cover. And you'll die. I mean, that's, a, that ha that's only happened about one or two times to me. It, haven't, it hasn't happened too many times. But it's really annoying when it does. Because you're like so close to the checkpoint. And then bam, you die. So it makes me angry. But, yeah. So the controls are really good. Uh, every now and then they'll mess up, but really not that much. Now, the camera in the game, it, it's really good. You can control it really well. It's smooth. But sometimes you'll, like, walk to the edge of a cliff when you have to jump off to something, and the camera will go, like, this really awkward bird's eye view. I mean, you can move it around a little, but it's really annoying, and it's... Yeah, it just doesn't really look that good. Uh, sometimes it really annoys me and it'll cause you to mess up. It's 
not a major flaw because it only happens like four times in the entire game and it's a really long game. Yeah, so the gameplay or the controls and camera is really good. Now, like in like in the, the last game, the first half of the game was like mainly puzzles, not too much combat. This game has a lot. I mean, and in the second half of the first game, it was mainly um combat, you know, not many puzzles at all. This game is completely different. This game is like there's a ton of really big puzzles throughout the entire game and it's it's really fun to figure out those puzzles. Uh because uh in the last game when you open your book, it would open straight to the page that you have to look at. This game, you actually get to flip through Drake's book, his journal. So it's really interesting to, you know, look and what he's drawn and what he's taking pictures of, it's kind of funny. And uh, you have to find what you're looking for to figure out some of the puzzles. Not all the puzzles are like that. Very few of them are, actually. But uh, when it does come to one of those puzzles, it's really fun to figure out. Um, yeah. So, and I mean, there is a lot of combat, like, a lot. But the game's not focused around it like the last game was. Which I like, because I'm more of a figure-out-what-to-do kind of person. I don't... I don't know. But, I mean, if you don't like the puzzles, you can always go to online, because that's just straight combat. But, yeah. So, that's working. What else can I talk about? <laughs> Here's the box. I don't know if you can see that well, but, yeah. The disc. The... the the disc and the manual and the manual's like his journal see it's got a buckled thing but yeah it's like his journal oh yeah the inside art in the box it's just Drake stealthing someone cracking their neck it's awesome no uh oh Is that? Yeah. The discs are different now. They used to... Hold on. Here's the old game. Uncharted. But, uh... How did that happen? The discs used to look like this. And at the bottom, they'd have PlayStation 3 across it. Now, hold on. Now they've got the PlayStation Three Slim um, logo. Yeah, so the discs are a lot different. It's not really anything big. Same with the cases. See up there, it says PS Three, and in the old box it used to say. PlayStation 3 down the side. And now it's got, it takes up the whole top of the box. And on the side also, I don't know why I'm going on about the boxes, but on the side, it used to have the 3, now it's got PS3. Or it had PS, then a big 3, and now it's got PS3. Um, so yeah. The new games look different from all the old ones. So it's... I guess if you have a greatest hits game, that sort of leans out in the bunch. But yeah. So the game is really good. The single player alone, I would give at least a 9.8 out of 10. It's not perfect, because it does have some minor flaws. But, I mean, no game is perfect. I'm never going to give a game a 10, because all games have their flaws. Even Metal Gear Solid 4. <gasps> I know. Um, <laughs> but, um, probably going to get a little hate mail for that. No, I don't think I will. Since I only get, like, two views. Woo! But, uh, yeah. So, I guess that's all I can really talk about. Oh, time's out anyway. Uh, sorry I haven't been making many videos. I'll try to make some more soon. I've been very busy with stuff, so, yeah. Expect some more videos. So, thanks for watching, and new videos coming soon.